Guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. In this video, we're going to be delving a little bit into the details of the Evercade EXP, what is Tati mode, what games are compatible, and a little bit more info besides. Let's get started. So guys, the Evercade EXP has been announced, it's got all those additional features we've been looking for, the extra shoulder buttons bringing it in line with the VS, you've got the IPS screen that's got the, the better viewing angles, uh, you've got the built-in Wi-Fi that's going to help with downloading firmware updates and maybe a little bit more besides. Um, the sizes of the device is probably similar to the original device, the screen size is exactly the same um, and the most important feature that I think is probably the Tate mode which we will discuss more in detail in the next few minutes. Ok guys, this is the Evercade Info Central, it's a great little website that has a lot of information about everything Evercade, from information about the XP, the VS, the original handheld, manuals, games, magazines, etc. There's a lot of stuff here, I would highly recommend it. It's got some great info that you probably don't quite see as, in as much depth in the Evercade's own website. Um, obviously it's got this new section now about the Evercade EXP and it has a little bit more info um, that we probably haven't seen um, on the main website. Obviously you can look at the main uh, EXP handheld here, you can see at the bottom here there is a little button which I believe is actually for the Tate mode, you can actually switch it um, between. And I think there is an option on the actual handheld itself but there is a button at the bottom that you can actually switch between both modes. So the key features you can see here, it's got the IPS screen, USB-C charging this time rather than the old fashioned one that we have on the original handheld. We've got the built-in Wi-Fi, you've obviously got the full support for every single cartridge that's currently available on Evercade. That will include the Namco collections and it's going to be available sometime winter 2022 and it comes with the iDeam Arcade 1 cartridge if you're buying the standard white version, which I think I personally prefer the white version. Um, it's really nice. Now the interesting part here is probably you've got further bonus content to be announced in September 2022. Now I've no idea exactly what that is so we'll hopefully find out. Um, but the interesting part for me is the, the EXP features this new Tate mode. Yeah it's pronounced Tate which apparently means uh, in Japanese vertical I believe. I may be wrong. <laughs> um, but the console is designed to be rot rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise to play games, um, vertical orientated games than the way they should actually play. So if you've got uh, the original Evercade, it's a nightmare to play these games um, horizontally. They just do not work. It's unplayable on the original hardware. I've got a few examples here as you can see in the videos that playing these games in this manner is just horrible. I mean it works okay to an extent on the VS, but when you're playing on that handheld um, it's just horrible, it's not the best way of playing it and there are quite a few games um, this way. So with this new handheld it's going to give us that option to have that full screen view and as you can see in the picture there you've got two extra buttons to utilise that so this is a very good feature. The fact that they're bringing out a lot of shooters and stuff on the newer arcade carts means that this is going to be perfect to play these games. Ok guys, just to give you an idea of playing vertical shooters on Tate mode, this is the Nintendo Switch which I'm playing a Capcom game, obviously this is not an Evercade, it's not on Evercade either, might be one day, who knows, but this is the best way of playing these type of games, you can see you get that full screen effect rather than that silly little sort of box mode that you have, um, this is definitely by far the way to play them, I'm really looking forward to trying this on the Evercade EXP. There's the full technical specs, um, the 4.3 IPS screen, 800 by 480 resolution, obviously that's a good improvement over the original. The screen size is actually the same size, the processor 1.5 GHz is the same as now the VS um, and that's just a little bit of a jump from the original handheld. Got 4 gig built in memory, now that seems quite a big built in memory, I would guess that's probably to add 
maybe some secret games perhaps. I mean, you could probably add a, a few hundred secret games, um, retro games with that kind of memory. Um, so that's quite interesting that that's included. That's obviously going to be utilised for that. Um, expanded button configuration, that sounds interesting. We've already talked the USB-C charging port. Built-in Wi-Fi for easy updates, I love that. That means that you will not have to sort of go into the internet and download and then do the update over your PC or laptop. There was a lot of issues surrounding that for people on Mac, for instance. So that will be a very welcome addition indeed. You've got your usual headphone jack, um, 720p mini HDMI output, cable not included, but um, if you've got the original, you should already have that cable sorted. You've got your 3000 milliamp battery for four to five hours gaming. And there's some questions here that's been added to this um, website, which is quite helpful, I think. It's just talking about what is the bonus content. We're not entirely sure, to be honest yet. It could be anything from maybe some additional games, something extra that's not really in the handheld. I would like to actually see all the secret games that have been released on the VS as unlockables to be maybe as free games on the EXP and they're already on your handheld. I think that would be a nice touch and I would really like to see that. People have been asking for that and Blaze are usually quite good at sort of fulfilling the wishes of the people that use these handhelds. Um, I think, I'm, I'm kind of guessing I would love to see that. That would be quite cool, I think. Um, obviously, the, the original handheld you will still be able to use and play your old games, but there will be one last firmware update for that at some point soon. And most games should still work, so don't panic. You do not need to update the new Evercade if you do not want to. It's not going to be the end of the world if you don't. Um, you're obviously not going to get your Wi-Fi in Tati mode, for example, but it's only going to be a personal choice in what you think. Will there be online features upcoming? Not at this time beyond firmware updates, but much like the Evercade VS, we'll be able to add additional features with these. Where can you pre-order? Blah, blah, blah. So, how many games support the Tate mode? At the time of writing um, at this article here, we've got 15 games. Um, obviously, they're mostly over those arcade carts, and there are quite a few games here that really need that Tate mode, because playing it on the handheld, it's just impossible. I've actually really only played these games mostly on the VS due to the fact that on the handheld it's literally just the, the screen it's just too small. You can't play them like that. The fact we've got some some excellent shooters there coming up on Jalico Arcade 1 and to a Plan Arcade 1. I think that's going to go down an absolute storm um, on this new handheld that's for sure. I'm really looking forward to trying those out that's for sure. So I think we've got an upgraded IPS screen which will deliver a, a better Quality screen, obviously you'll have your improved viewing angles. You can see in some of the videos that that's sort of been released that the screen does look a lot better. Now the original that was a big bugbear for a lot of people. The original screen was the viewing angles were terrible. You sometimes had to hold it at a certain angle so that the, you could see the, the game properly, and obviously in different lights as well that had issues. It wasn't a massive issue for me. Um the purple version definitely improved the screen quality a little bit. Um, but yeah, the original, it wasn't the greatest. It's good that they're releasing this um, with the new screen. I think that was definitely the biggest issue with the original handheld. Okay guys, just have a quick look at the different viewpoints of the EXP. So you can see from the front, you've got your extra buttons for the Tate mode. You've got um, your usual buttons, the A, B, X, Y. You've got the actual menu button you can see there and the start and select and your usual D-pad. So on the back you can see your additional uh, shoulder buttons, you can see there's a little light at the bottom there, we'll have a little look at that in a second. It's mostly white as you can see so that will go in great with the white cartridges, but obviously if you've got the black version they might stick out a little bit. Now I'm not sure if there are actually two vents there to give it a little bit of air circulation, so that's quite interesting I think. And if you look at the bottom here, you can see quite clearly your volume. I guess that must be some kind of charging light or battery life function. Your USB-C, your headphones, either side you've got your speakers. And there, there's that all-important Tate mode button that you can actually see there. I guess you press that, you can switch between at any point, which makes it easy enough to sort of access, which is, I think that's a really nice touch. So just looking here, you can see the menu screen of one of the upcoming carts. You've got the, the Tate mode sort of activated at the top there. And I think there is an option on the menu screen to actually change between Tate mode, I believe. You can see at the left hand side screen there's an additional option that says EXP. Not entirely sure what that is, but 
I'm guessing perhaps that's going to be what's going to be announced in September where perhaps your additional games that are going to be added no, obviously I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe that's what that is or maybe it's something completely different. That's very interesting, so hopefully we'll find out what that is soon, but um, it's fascinating nonetheless. Obviously that opens it up to what does EXP actually stand for, is it experience, expert, haven't got a clue. But it's interesting, I'm sure that'll be again open to translation much like the Evercade VS or Versus was um, at the time of release. So guys, that's the end of our video. The EXP will be released sometime in winter 2022. All the price points are on your screen as you can see. I'm really looking forward to it personally. I'm really excited for the Tate mode and the Wi-Fi additions. It does look like a nice little handheld. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.